Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is KJ, and today I'll be teaching you how to solve the bell chest puzzle. So first, let's just say that this light crystal is not on the pedestal, it's like here. In order to activate said bridge, shut up Atreus, anyway, in order to activate said bridge, you need to place the light crystal on the pedestal, then get Atreus to shoot one of his arrows. You nearly shot me then, you little shit. Anyway, uh, after the bridge is lighted, uh, go up, and go up here. And this is and this is the climbing spot on your right that you can that you can easily see from where you stood. And if you look to your right before climbing up here, you will see this bell. It's shaped like an N. If you continue further on up to look at the chest, you will see another bell that has an R symbol. And then if you continue even further on up, you will see a bell that I'm just gonna say looks like a K. So, I know what all day you're going to think of doing this in, and yes, if you're very quick it would work, but I don't recommend it, and here's why. Now the reason I wouldn't recommend this is that you probably wouldn't be quick enough to actually do it in that amount of time, so he, here's, here's how I would do it. And this will open the chest. The reason that my, that my strategy is better than the original strategy that you thought of is because N, N takes about up to 5 seconds to respawn, R takes about up to 3 seconds, and K takes about up to 2 seconds. It doesn't actually take that amount of time, but I'm just going to say it does. Now, the reason you should start with this, BN, is for one reason and one reason only. You've got to do longest to shortest. And the reason is, if you do N, you have 5 seconds. Hit this, you'll have 3 to 4 seconds left. And if you... And then by the time you get over here and hit this, you'll have 3 to 4 seconds left. And then when you get over here, you'll have about 2 to 1 seconds left. So, so, and if you did R, K, then N, what would happen is that by the time you did those two, when you're just crossing here, and both of these would respawn, they would. And as soon as you hit N, you'd come back to look that the two runes are still there. So, and that's how you solve the bell chest puzzle. And just before I go for the night, let me just let me just tell you what's in this chest before you do it. So there'll be a there'll be a ram horn of a, of the blood mead. I think that's what it's called. It's called something similar to that. And and what this basically does is that um yeah. <laughs> is that it increases your ma your maximum Spartan Rage. Pretty much for Spartan Rages, it's this. You can activate this by holding L3 and R3. One of the attacks is a rapid punching attack. One of the one of the attacks is an R if you press R2 is a jump attack. And you know and you know how my Spartan Rage didn't last very long there. If you get three blood meat horns it will increase the amount of time you have in Spartan Rage. And there's and there's nine blood meads that in the whole God of War world. And like and by that I mean literally in every realm. Uh, and uh yeah, sorry guys, I just kinda spaced off. Yeah, and if you get maximum Spartan Rage, you will actually have a lot of time in Spartan Rage and you'll become very, very powerful very, very quickly. But You'll probably have beaten the game before you got maximum Spartan Rage. Because I think, I think there's Blood Mead, I think there's Blood Mead Horns in Muspel Harm and Niflheim too. Um, so, so that's the end of this video guys. I hope this guide helped you and I'll be off. Have, um, have, a, bl have a blessed day or night wherever you are. And comment down below, which is your favourite realm out of all of God of War? Is it mid? Is it Midgard? Is it where? Is it Midgard, Muspelheim, Alfheim, Niflheim, or Jotunheim? Comment down below. All right. Have a blessed day or night, guys. As I've already said, and.
and uh, and have a good night's rest. All right, get eight hours, <laughs> and see you guys in the next video.